when classifying polynomials, we want to put the polynomial in standard form. So standard form is the exponents in descending order. So we want the highest exponent first and the smallest exponent last. So in A, I have 8x subtract 3x to the fourth plus 5 plus x squared. So to put this in standard form, I want the term with the highest exponent, which will be negative 3x to the fourth. Then I want the term with the second highest exponent, which will be my x squared. So I'll have a positive x squared. Then I would have a positive 8x. And last, I will have my positive 5. So when it asks for the degree of a polynomial, you just want the highest exponent that you have in your expression. So my highest exponent was a degree of 4, which would make this a quartic polynomial. Our leading coefficient is the very first term with that leading coefficient, so I would have negative 3. My number of terms is how many things I am adding or subtracting, so I have four terms here. And when I name my polynomial, I have the degree name first, and then I have the number of terms second. So my degree was 4, so this is going to be a quartic. And for the number of terms, I have 4, and we have no special name for that. So it would be a quartic polynomial of 4 terms. I'm going to do the exact same thing in letter B. So highest degree down to our lowest degree. So my highest degree term would be x squared, followed by a minus 3x, followed by my minus 4. My degree for this expression is an exponent of 2, which would make it quadratic. My leading coefficient in front of that x squared term is a 1. I am having three terms in my expression. And when I name this, it's the degree by the number of terms. So since I had three terms, that would make it a trinomial. So the whole name would be a quadratic trinomial.